Hey lovelies, you know where you are, so let's get started. I'm going to be reviewing Bumble and Bumble Conditioner, their Defining Cream, and their Anti-Humidity Gel Oil. Now, this video is not like my other videos. It's not as like, you know, in order and pretty and all just, you know, perfect like how I like because I didn't know what I wanted to do with this footage. I was all excited to try these products. They are not cheap. They're one of the more expensive um, line of products for curly hair. And I just wasn't that impressed. Now, some of their products were good. Um, I will get to that in a second, but right now, I'm styling the back of my hair where I normally start. And I've already added the conditioner and the defining cream. Now I'm applying the gel oil. Now let me just tell you something. My hair in the back, it just, it's, it's a different type of curl. Like, like that little frizz right there, I always get it. I always have to manipulate it. So I never try to leave that as the last taste in my mouth as far as if the product is working. I always try to move on to the next section just to get a better idea of what's going on. Now I must say, the conditioner and the defining cream together, I wish it was more defining. I really don't understand this whole calling something a defining cream when it doesn't quite define, or maybe it just doesn't define enough for me. So the fact that I feel like I have to add conditioner or more gel oil or just regular gel altogether is really frustrating. Now, I know you're probably wondering why am I leaving conditioner in my hair? This conditioner is one of those conditioners where you can rinse it out, you can use it as a co-wash, or you can use it as a leave-in. And I love this conditioner. My hair was so soft, I use it in the shower after I use the shampoo which by the way, I will definitely be purchasing again. That shampoo was so moisturizing for my hair. I didn't need a lot of it. And it just, it reminded me of the Shea Moisture Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Shampoo, but a more luxurious version of that. Back to the conditioner, I didn't add a lot of it as you just saw. I only wanted enough in there to kind of coat my strands because I knew I'd be putting the defining cream on top as well as the gel oil. Now, for those of you wondering about the cost of these products, hold on to your seats. <laughs> the shampoo was $31, the defining cream was $31, and the conditioner was $34. Oh, and the gel oil was $30. So yes, I know that's probably about, that's $120 on four products. And like I said in my other video, I definitely plan to return some of these products because that's just too much. I mean, I wanted to see what the big deal was, so here I am. And here I am learning that the big deal is just, I, I really don't know because look at all this frizz that generated before I even got to the other side of my hair. Now my hair was put up, it wasn't rubbing up against my robe or anything like that, so I don't know what the heck happened here. I think it's that gel oil. My hair does not like oil with gel. So in order to stop my hair from frizzing out, I definitely grabbed my Eco Styler Gel. Um, I went ahead and continued the process of conditioner, defining cream, gel oil, as well as the Eco Styler Gel. And the only reason I continued to keep the gel oil in this whole regimen because I felt like it was really smoothing my hair in a way that would prevent frizz. And for whatever reason, I really didn't feel like the gel oil was creating most of the frizz. Even though I know how my hair feels about gel and oil together, I didn't feel like this was the problem all by itself. And I also, you know, really just wanted to give it um, my best shot before deciding whether or not I liked it. And looking at my hair here, it doesn't look that bad. I did see some frizzy spots from, I don't know, maybe my hair wasn't wet enough before I added the product. But overall, the curl, pattern and definition looks it looks pretty good on camera but in real life it just didn't I didn't have much confidence in it like I wouldn't be able to go out and feel like my hair is good it's fine I don't have to worry about it like this is frizz city waiting to happen it's super soft and it's pretty you know it came out nice uh, uh, give or take a few spots here there <laughs> there but I don't think it was a complete complete failure I think this is just one of those situations where the shampoo and conditioner really outshine the styling products which is just 
unnatural. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, that conditioner felt like a deep conditioner or mask when I rinsed it out in the shower. I can't wait to get that again, as well as the shampoo. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.